This is Kim Spedek from 10 Sigma. Welcome to episode 128 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about transition for students who have traumatic brain injury. Right now I'm going to switch over to your short slide presentation to share this information. Transition for students who have a traumatic brain injury. Transition Tuesday, episode 128. IDEA's definition of traumatic brain injury means an acquired injury to the brain caused by external physical force, resulting in total or partial functional disability or psychosocial impairment, or both, that adversely affects a child's educational performance. Traumatic brain injury applies to open or closed head injuries, resulting in impairments in one or more areas, such as cognition, language, memory, attention, reasoning, abstract thinking, judgment, problem solving, sensory, perceptual, and motor abilities, psychosocial behavior, physical functions, information processing, and speech. Traumatic brain injury does not apply to brain injuries that are congenital or degenerative or to brain injuries induced by birth trauma. The biggest challenges for students who have traumatic brain injury transitioning to adult life are college or post-school training, employment, and social interaction and behavior. The challenges for students who have traumatic brain injury are widespread, but directly correlate to each other. And as you can tell, they are the three transition areas, employment, education and training, and independent living. Some examples of students who have traumatic brain injury could include that they have difficulties with attention, memory, communication, reasoning, and problem solving. They might have a weakness or lack of coordination in arms or legs, impaired vision, fatigue, and sleep problems. They could be vulnerable to depression. They might have difficulty controlling anger or anxiety, being impulsive, and difficulty initiating or sustaining behavior. Many people, including employers, don't understand traumatic brain injury, which can lead to fear-based perceptions. Here are some suggestions for students with traumatic brain injury improve their outcomes when transitioning to adult life. First, teach students to take ownership in their transition process. Give students many opportunities to discover and explore their interests, employment, and post-secondary education options through assessments, activities, and tasks. Teach self-advocacy skills and how to set goals. Students need to learn about their disability, IEP, rights, and accommodations needed. Teach soft skills, particularly organization and problem solving skills. Help students make a list of supports. Teach social skills and try to get the student involved at school. Get parents and family involved in the transition process and include outside agencies such as vocational rehabilitation. Many times they can offer work trials to see if certain kinds of work are a good fit for the student. They also could have some suggestions for employer education to help change the perceptions of people with traumatic brain injuries. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you some great information and resources to help students who have traumatic brain injury transition to adult life. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students transition to adult life. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.